Now this is aquarium water. Hi, how are you doing? This is aquarium water. It's, uh, I guess it's a high pH because it turned yellow as you can see. It was clear going in. Now it is all yellow. So, I've been giving these also to my garden garden plants they get a variety they get the rain water tap water and they get aquarium water and so much I guess I have at least one ear of corn is coming up that's good but what I want to do is I want to give this aquarium water to the watermelon got grown freely and it seems like well let's say it is here we have watermelon growing out of a pot or bowl or container and this is the container that is grown out of okay and there's only one that I see Now these here, as you can see, they're growing freely under the leaves. We have bigger watermelons. See that? And that's just growing off the ground. That's right off the ground. The leaves covered. And I have several grown here. Because, and this here I thought was a weed but it's not, it's marigold. Marigold helps keep the mosquitoes away. But, and then I have some more tomatoes growing right here. Tomatoes and watermelon growing here. And to my sunflower seeds, the sunflower has drooped down, as you can see, from being tall, and that one's drooping down, but there's also still pollinating going on here. But pretty soon we will have seeds. See some darn fire ants, they're such a pain. I seen someone do a um a look at the fire ant mound to see just how elaborate their tunnels are. They put some molten aluminum down the top of the mound. And after it going down through the top, they waited until it was cooled off. So when it cooled off, it was time to take it out. So when they did that, they dug it out, and there is almost about two or three feet of tunneling going on with these fire ants. So when we see them at the top, down in the ground they have dug so many tunnels and they breed so much it's really literally hard to actually destroy most of them i think only thing you can do is have them go to a different area where they can thrive which is really not that hard once they found that the area that they're at isn't conducive for them to have a colony, they go somewhere else. Which is like actually some natural people are like. But that's another story. Well, more life to all. 
less life to none. Amen.